Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I have Rashmi again with us who will be explaining us the H-1B visa interview process. She has already explained the process of how to get an H-1B. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go watch it right now. I'll link it down in the description below. So in this video, we're going to talk about how the H-1B visa interview process goes on. On top of that, what kind of questions are asked in that H-1B visa interview process along with some trip tips and tricks that Rashmi will share with you so that you can crack your H-1B visa interview pretty easily. Alright, so let's start off. So Rashmi, uh, can you tell them like about some questions and how you actually prepared for the H-1B visa interview? Okay, um, so once my case got approved, uh, I was reached out by a, a team uh, which told me that you know they'll be setting up some trainings and uh, which was online. So I took up those online trainings to understand what actually happens in a uh, visa interview. So basically, if you're working in a company, your case gets approved. That means they're willing to send you to the US. You okay. get picked up in the lottery. Everything happens. Mm -hmm. Then what really uh, happens is they actually train you for it too. Yes, I think we should utilize these trainings to make sure that you know we mm -hmm. are uh, prepared and uh, you know give our best to these uh, interviews. All right. So these are free trainings which are provided to you by the company. Right. Got it. All right. So, uh, can you just explain like how uh, uh, were the questions that you were prepared for, like some examples of the questions that could be asked to them in the H1B visa interviews too, and how yeah, to crack sure. them? Yeah, sure. Um, so, uh, what I did was I reached out to some of my colleagues who had already attended the interviews and also gathered some questions which were already asked. So, I could sense that there was a pattern in this. So some of the basic questions which are usually asked to people uh, go like this, you know, like uh, what is your um, um, annual US salary, okay. uh, who would be your client and uh, what is your uh, highest uh, qualification, uh, where exactly would you be based out of in the US and um, things like, you know, are you applying for the visa uh, for H-1B uh, visa for the first time mm -hmm. um, and also things like uh, please give us a brief description of your um, current job role and what you would be doing there in the US, uh, US. Um, things like these. Alright, so these are some of the general questions that are, are being asked to the uh, aspirants, right? Right. Alright, so uh, could you reveal like some of the questions that you had seen a lot being asked to people around you? Or yeah, you? sure. I think the most frequent questions are uh, what would be your annual salary, who would be your client, and uh, also I would say uh, we were asked about uh, are you aware of your uh, rights in the US? Are you aware of your rights, rights in the US? In the so US. this is a little tricky question like... Um, so actually it is not a um, question which would create any harm. So if you say yes, probably uh, with a lot of confidence, maybe, it depends on the person who's interviewing you, they might ask you to, you know, state a few rights which you are aware of. Okay. So make sure that you're prepared in case you plan to say yes. Um, mm. Or if you say no, if you're very candid, maybe uh, they'll hand over a pamphlet to you which has a list of rights which you need to be aware of before okay. traveling. So I would say... Uh, it again depends on the interviewer, but in case you plan to say yes, make sure that you know some of the rights at least. Do your homework and then um, face the interview. Okay, you cannot bluff there. Yeah. On a, I would say you should never lie over there. Yeah. Uh, so at least, yeah, I mean in case, I know none of us have the time to go over all the rights, at least make sure that you uh, are aware of certain things like um, some, some most rights. common rights I would Got say it. and it's this is not something which is not accessible if you just try to google it out you would get some basic rights which you would need to be aware of yeah yeah so do not try to bluff over there I mean these are some of the general questions that you should be prepared for like Rashmi was you were prepared with uh, you know memorizing all the rights that you were supposed to be having in the US right yeah I mean um, I would say that um, in terms of preparation um, uh, the more you practice the better it is so set up mock interviews for yourself with your friends your family members your colleagues just to make sure that you know you have things coming out very um, naturally it should be an organic response I would say mm -hmm. um, it shouldn't be like uh, you're trying to make up things on the spot uh, yeah, prepare because they can sense it, that yeah prepare for it so much that you wouldn't be nervous at all and uh, things like what is your annual salary most of us would know a figure which is like 
okay maybe this is around the salary which i'm getting that is the usual mm-hmm. response right when uh-huh. we are having a conversation but make sure that you know the specifics have it in your fingertips if it's 14 lakh 87000 make sure that it is 14 lakh 87000 and you uh, tell your friends to ask these questions and again and again so that these numbers are imprinted mm-hmm. and uh, um, in your mind and it comes out very naturally mm-hmm. uh, so that like you said you wouldn't be fumbling upon it and then um, mm-hmm. it comes out very easily yeah so obviously uh, we would not recommend you to go there without any preparation it's yeah. not like you can just say a uh, 120000 if your salary is 126000 You yeah. should be coming up with the exact number so that even the interviewer has confidence. Like this guy has the ability; he does his homework well, he prepares well for his things. So yeah. he'll be more interested to approve your visa in the first place. Yeah, and uh, also like uh, you said, you know, like uh, uh, preparing for these questions is very important. I would say the most important part. But there are a few things again uh, apart from preparing for these questions, which play an important role. Um, like uh, you know. Uh, uh, dressing up yourself in a very professional way mm-hmm. uh, i'm sure your tra- companies would provide you with trainings and material which would list out what actually you can wear or meets the dress code for uh, right. an interview so basically that training would provide me with the dress code yeah the questions that could be asked they'll even provide me with the mock interview yes they will uh, they will schedule mock interviews and you know uh, some firms uh, would in fact uh, assign some coaches who would coach you or train wow. you on how to okay. yeah how to uh, face these interviews because i know for most of us this is happening for the first time and yeah. we might uh, be wondering as to what needs it to be done it can be a very daunting process homework. like i remember when i went for my visa even though it was a student visa it was a big deal yeah right i can understand so uh, yeah make sure that you utilize all these opportunities and um, also uh, certain small things can also play a very important role like how you um you know uh, organize your files like ds160 and then your i797 uh, your passport make sure that these documents are always in the first folder which is easily accessible to you mm-hmm. and structure your file in such a way that your folder in such a way that you know each cabinet has what documents yeah. so in case i'm sure it is a very rare scenario the interviewer might ask you for your um, um, offer letter let's say from your current form okay so you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't be spending a lot of time searching for yeah. it and all that you should know that okay it's in the second cabin of my folder structure and you immediately take uh-huh. it and give it to them to be honest like it's really difficult to remember where you kept yourself so i'll give you one of my tips i've even explained it in one of my visa document checklist video so what i did was i bought those sticky notes okay right. these strips of sticky notes yeah. so on each and every page i sticked one note like this is my ds160 this is my i20 this is this this is this is this particular document so i did not have to fumble as soon as he asked me for a document i would directly go to that sticky note yeah so i had divided those sticky notes into separate columns also like the orange sticky notes were part of my academic cabinet yeah. yellow yellow notes were like ds160 and stuff like that so you can separate things out along with those sticky notes because they are directly visible or right. else you will have to open the cabinet without opening the cabinet only you will know which page to go to right and there are certain do's and don'ts probably your uh, company would let you know more on that like uh, you shouldn't take like uh, one of my friends had a fitbit with him so okay. we were supposed to keep all our electronics outside mm-hmm. and uh, he didn't know that uh, that is also one of the things which he needs to keep uh, you know outside so then he had to uh, go back and make sure that he keeps it somewhere and then come back so make sure that you follow all these basic things uh, which is you know repeated again and again or stressed upon by your firm um and you can also research a few things on the internet what are the don'ts I, i'm sure we all know the do's but the don'ts is something which we might miss on so just try to make sure that you do your homework and just be confident and especially when you're facing the interviewer there is this glass um, you know t- uh, glass shield which like separates glass wall you yeah. yeah there's a glass wall which separates you and the interviewer you will be uh, given a mic so make sure that you're very close to the mic and you speak very clearly make sure that you're not too fast or too slow just ma- maintain a medium pace mm mm-hmm. yeah definitely yeah. that is a really good tip yeah yeah so uh, if uh, the person takes the visa interviewer takes your passport well done my friend you your visa has been approved if he does not 
then it is a different case right and one last tip i would want to give here is just make sure that your um answers are very crisp like just don't beat around the bush mm-hmm. just don't try to um you know answer like it's your uh, engineering viva sessions mm-hmm. which we used to have in labs so definitely don't do that don't come up with things just uh, randomly just be very crisp if they ask you for your salary mm-hmm. just say that my annual salary is so and so if you are if you are asked about your highest degree my highest degree is so and so you don't have to beat around the bush telling that i was also doing this i i have also done this and all that all that is not needed they wouldn't have patience to listen to you proper concise answers yes yeah got it all right uh, so these were all the tips and tricks and some of the questions that you shared could be asked to people yes. over there in the interviews like. and i would suggest that please <laughs> reach out uh, at the time of your visa interview i'm sure um like for me it was like a group of us were um, asked to take up a uh, attend a training so what i did was i tried to see who all are attending that training i reached out to them individually and i had messaged them telling that in case you have a vi- uh, visa interview scheduled before me can you please send me a list of questions mm-hmm. what you got so that is how i came up with this master sheet having all the list of questions which were previously asked to my colleagues mm-hmm. um i know uh, it might be difficult for you to talk to strangers in your firm but this is one way of networking with them and also making sure that you have done your homework uh, the best way possible yeah definitely so yeah uh, i think this will be it right yes, for the video so it. yeah thank you so much of come for coming on the video and telling them about the entire h1b process i mean even i enjoyed a lot because i did not know of a lot of things that you mentioned and on top of that you gave your h1b visa interview questions the tips and tricks that they could follow so i definitely think this video will help them a lot so thank you so much guys for watching thank you so much for coming on the channel and uh subscribe to the channel if you can i mean helps a lot uh we have definitely done a lot of work before putting out this content so yeah definitely it would help out a lot so thank you so much for watching anyways and i'll see you in the next one